Hello guys, it's Mastria here, and I'll be doing uh, a uh, World Aether tutorial. Right now, I'm gonna show you the basics of triggers, uh, types of triggers and stuff like that. Okay, so let's begin. To enter the triggers, you press the F4 or the Trigger Aether button and you're up with a panel. When you first start this panel, you're only gonna have one category here, it's gonna be called Initialization. If you don't want a melee map, just delete this wall thingy. Uh, well, right now I have leak removal, but that's the prescripted thing I, I wrote earlier to show you how to remove leaks. We're gonna use that later on. Okay, first thing you're gonna do is create a new category and name it whatever you want. Let's just name it uh, Start and make a new trigger. What will this trigger do? Let's just do some basic triggers. It's gonna be called uh, start kill. Okay, what does this thing do? Uh, you have, first off, let me tell you, you got two languages. Uh, first language is GUI, and that's the one uh, we're gonna be using. And a second language uh, is Jazz. Jazz is an advanced language that requires lots of skill, patience, and stuff like that to learn. And you can convert your text to jazz by going to edit and uh, then convert to Qsion text. As you can see, jazz has things you can write. I know very little of jazz, so I can just type, type this. That's all I know. And it means nothing, so let's just leave jazz out of this. And we're gonna make map in GUI. GUI. Okay, uh, so what's this trigger gonna do? Uh, every trigger has event, condition, and action. Event, that means uh, what will trigger this trigger. <laughs> so let's just say, uh, hmm, there's a lot of things here. Let's just take time lapsed. If time lapsed is the 5 seconds, the conditions, they usually, you know, check if something is true or not. If it's true, then they proceed to actions. If not, then whatever. So let's just check. Uh, what condition should we have? Let's just say owner of. Uh, then you get to choose when you uh, choose some of these blue thingies. Another window pops up, and then you either choose one of the present play players, or you get uh, to choose players bound by variables, or you get to choose a function. Let's just say function owner of unit, of which unit? Let's select the unit, and we're gonna make this thing here. This guy's gonna be the unit, the knight. Okay, now if owner of knights of knight is equal to player one, okay, then what are we gonna do? Action. You get lots of actions here. Uh, let's just skip the units. Kill. Kill the the knight, yes. Well, this is some of the some most basic trigger. There are far, far more advanced triggers, and sometimes you're gonna be using locations. Let's just say, uh, like this. Let's find unit group. Pick every unit in player map area, and uh, unit. Let's just create special effect at their point. Special effect at unit position of picked unit. And the effect's gonna be random, thunderclap, yeah, that's fine, I think. Eh, it's okay. It doesn't really matter, I just... Yeah, thunderclap, that's it. Okay. And what are we gonna do? We're gonna just... Uh, uh, <laughs> floating text, we're gonna create floating text that says this. Add the unit position of picked unit. Okay, well, this is a harmless trigger. No, wait, it isn't. Why not? Because every time you use a trigger and you use a new location, for example, uh, pick every unit in units in playable map area. This is a new location. And Warcraft saves this location, but uh, doesn't remove it after you use this. And that's the problem. When you save location and don't remove it, it just causes extra space in a map, and uh, that's called a leak. There are lots of leaks in this thing, and I'm gonna teach you how to remove them. Okay, first of all, uh, we got a leak removal, I mean, uh, trigger. I just made that, uh, so I can show you guys what does this look like. 
to make one of these uh, leak removers, uh, you go new action, find the QGIM script, and enter this. Okay, now what you're gonna type here is always go call first, space, and then depending on what your thing is, it either goes remove something or destroy something. If it's unit group, for example, you go destroy group space u uh, wait udg slash and then the name of your group. Let's just call it group. Okay, well, I already have this uh, trigger and a bunch more. Uh, destroy group is used for unit groups, remove location is used for points, the ones I mentioned earlier, uh, destroy force is used for player groups, remove rect is used for regions, which I'm gonna show, talk about later, destroy lightning, this is uh, used for all the lightning effects that you have on a map, uh, destroy the text tag is used for floating text, and destroy timer is used for timers. Now, all of these require the first word to be call and the thing between these, uh, how it's called, first word is udg slash something. And then the, the name of your variable. Now, what is variable? You gotta be wondering. You see this x up here, click on it and variable uh, will open, this variable window. When you create a new variable, let's just name it, uh, I don't know, group or what, whatever this thing is called, and we're gonna find a unit group. Okay, now we have a unit group named group, and we failed a bit because this thing removes unit group, not just group, so let's just name this unit group. Okay, so right now this trigger is gonna remove unit group, we don't have event, this is just showing you how it's done. And for uh, also, another two things that leak are uh, units and special effects. However, unlike other things that leak, uh, units can be removed by simple unit add expiration timer, where the game will automatically remove after a certain number of seconds. And special effect, destroy special effect. This is also a quite nice one. So what are we gonna do right now? Okay, first uh, unit kill unit. Uh, this since this thingy uh, kills this unit, he won't cause any more space. Well, it would be uh, optimal to remove him using the 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 the, the, the sleek remover expiration timer. However, most of the triggers require a corpse, so we will take our time. Besides, it takes uh, around 10 million leaks uh, for map to start lagging. Yeah, I've counted it. <laughs> okay. Well, what we're gonna do right now is um, special effect. We're gonna remove special effect, like I said before. Uh, wait, where is it? Special, 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 special. Destroy last created special effect. Okay, this will play special effect, then destroy it. Uh, <laughs> okay, unit pick every unit in units in playable map area. We're just gonna set unit group, the one I think use you earlier equal to uh, wait a second we're just gonna make l point point is gonna be a location okay so let's just pick every unit in units in no let's just say pick every unit in wait oh yeah units in point where's the point Oh, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. This is... I need rect. Region. Okay, this is more like it. <laughs> and let's just set... Before that, we're gonna set, set this region to playable map area. Mm, playable map area, right? We got units in playable map area. And right now we're gonna remove this thing into unit group. Pick every unit in unit group, set this thing, create special effect, create floating text, add position of picked unit. Now this is a problem, we're gonna make a new thingy. No, wait, it's here. Set, 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 set. edit variables, new variable. Now this is gonna be point, 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 point. Okay. 
set point unit position of picked unit. Now create special effect at point and create floating text at point. Okay, now you just remove these leaks by copying these thingies here. Right now we use the Let's see, we use region, unit group, uh, point, and floating text. So we're gonna use four of these to remove. Just copy these things, create Qsion scripts at the end of a trigger, and it's gonna be removed. And that's about it for triggers. Uh, if you want to learn Jazz, you should check out Hive Workshop, they have a bunch of tutorials there. However, I do recommend if you want just casual map making, you should stick with GUI. It covers most of the things, most of the basics. The only thing that's uh, that can be done in JAS and not GUI is leak removal. However, instead of uh, transferring wall trigger into uh, how it's called into into this JAS, you can just do it in GUI. However, if you want to do it in JAS, this is how it looks like. Call destroy group, UDG, unit group, and stuff like that, okay. Well, I hope you liked uh, my guide, and I'll see you next time in Abilities Aether. Since right now we have, uh, we know how to use Trigger Aether, we can also use Ability Aether later on. Okay, ciao guys, have fun.